I wanted to share one of my favorite programs that you can just view and modify pictures. Uh, it's called XN View. It is uh, on Windows and uh, some other OS's like Mac and Linux, and um, I think there's even some generate some new generation versions on Android and um, iPhone too. So um, well, I'm used to the one on Windows, and I use it as the default image viewer. Uh, what I want to show you right now with this is uh, I want to do some batch processing with it to a folder of pictures. So if, let's say you have um, a folder of photos you want to upload or uh, share with somebody and as you know new f digital cameras uh, the photos are massive so when they come off the camera it's like before you share them resizing them is a good idea if you think even if some other uh, friends or relatives are going to print them they still often don't even need to be nearly as big as they are so uh, I'm going to do a quick experiment um, the XN View interface. Oh, and by the way, you can get XN View at XNView.com. Um, it is free to work with. It's uh, it's not open source, but you know it's just uh, so good that I would pay money for it. Uh, in order to um, browse images and that, uh, you can uh, actually use this left hand dialog box here. Uh, it's like the tree view of the entire system, right? So I've got a folder. Um, that's probably the hardest thing about it, really, is to just finding your files where they've been stored, whether they're on the desktop or in some documents folder. So I have this uh, folder of photos here at the bottom, and um, in order to modify all these, let's say they're you know they're pretty big photos, 2560 by 1920. Um, if I'm going to email or uh, share with somebody or put on a photo gallery, I can. Uh, easily save upload time by resizing them. So in order to resize all of these though, um, you know, as I'm viewing them here in the folder, I can actually uh, shift click or control click or just hit select all for all the photos. And you know, there's only eight photos in here, but seven or eight photos, but um, it's the same rule for if there were 50 to 100. Um, in order to do a batch uh, process, you need to go under the Tools menu and choose Batch Processing. And notice that um, in this dialog box here, all the images that were selected are already in this uh, input folder. So it's kind of think of it as uh, these are the images coming in, and then you're going to have smaller images coming out in this example. So um, with the images coming in, what we want to do is um, first tell it what we want it to do to the pictures. So let's go to the Transformations tab. And I want to do a resize. So there's a lot of options here. There's more than you'll ever use. So if you were rotating or um, modifying things like the metadata of the picture, um, color changes, everything. I'll click Resize and Add. Okay, so what it's what I want you to understand here is that basically you can do multiple batch changes to uh, photos rather than just one. So once we added that to this, um, we can remove it, of course, if we made a mistake or added it twice or something. Um, notice that after, when it's selected, the parameters down here are the rules. Uh, so we are going to, let's say, upload these files to a photo gallery and we know that through the web browser you know you know the size that's gonna be um, plenty big let's say will be like 900 pixels so that's less than half of uh, the size uh, height and width of what they are now so um, I may not know whether there are tall pictures or wide pictures and uh, to what degree so uh, let's say I want the 900 pixels to be whether its height or its width um, should be no greater than 900. So uh, here in the width, I'm going to put 900. And then here in the height, I'm going to put 900. So, and the key for this to work is now it's not going to make it a square picture suddenly because these are the same numbers. Um, because you have this checkbox for keep ratio, it's going to understand that. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to just uh, resize it by 50% or 25% or whatever, you could do that. 
There's also a few defaults here you could utilize. So since ours are, um, you know, maybe tall and wide, we definitely like this option here. So, um, okay, at that, we can go back to, let's see, general, and um, we need to assign where it's going to go. We don't want it to overwrite what's already there. We want to like make a copy of it. We should keep our originals, right? So let's create a directory inside this directory as it is. So uh, that was in this directory called Pano6. Um, let's make a new folder. We'll call this resized. Okay, and it's a good idea to make sure that's selected there. So resize is selected. Hit OK. So now it's going to the resized folder, and our uh, transformation here is still uh, ready to go. So notice the uh, go button is on both tabs. Um, so let's go ahead and hit go, and it's run through its conversion. You can see the dialog box. There's uh, just a few pictures, so it doesn't take too long. If there were hundreds, you might be waiting a couple of minutes. Um, okay, so down at the bottom, here's the folder I was in before, and then let's uh, expand that here's the resized and you can see we've got the same files that have been resized um, you know as as I look at that um, there's one thing I wanted to just check out and I, it was an option I probably needed to uh, specify early but for this example that's okay um, let's say we're we're doing this again right um, in the same dialog, um, I did tell it to be a JPEG, right? But I did not specify the size or the quality level. So um, if I hit this options here, here's where I can choose the file format as well as, uh, you know, if, if quality is an option. Uh, for web JPEGs, you know, between 60 and 70 is often a good size. And, uh, you know, you can tell it to remove some of the metadata if you like. So um, these are just a bunch of JPEG options. Okay, so um, hopefully this was helpful, and you know it, I have another tutorial out there for batch renaming using another program, but you can actually batch rename as well in XMView, and just a whole lot more. So check out this software if you work on, uh, you know, computer often with images. It's it's fantastic. Thanks.